Hello and hello. <coughs> that's that's rubbish. <laughs> hello, ladies hello. and gentlemen, and welcome to this video. Which uh, welcome to this video. Uh, first of all, a warm welcome to our special guest today, which is Elliot Panda Squad. Say hello to the audience. Hello, audience. How you doing? You're dancing like a retard. But, Hell anyway. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There is. So, oh. so today we're going to talk about a topic which could be a bit sensitive to some, but I just I'm so glad you you you're happy to talk about it because uh, you know some people may doesn't want to talk about it. Oh yes. So, um, you, you have uh you have an issue, do you? Mm-hmm. I do. Uh, what what issue is it? Well, I suffer from what they call suicidal depression. Suicidal depression. Tell us about it. Mm-hmm. Well, suicidal depression is basically, from my experience, everyone's experience is completely different, mm-hmm. is that in my mind, I think about suicide every day. A- every day? Yeah, I never act on it. Mm-hmm. So, so do I'll, you give f- you ex- I'll give you an example. Okay, go on. Basically, I wake up and think, is my life really worth living today? And um, Can you help it? Can you, s- is, is it, why, why is that happening to you? What happened was that um, two years ago, as many, some, most of my subscribers know that, my mum passed away. Okay, sorry to hear about that. And that's for all. I've learned to deal with, I dealt with it now. Mm-hmm. And that was what they call the final nail in the coffin for me. It's basically where I reached the lowest point of my life. Mm-hmm. Which I think is my lowest point of my own life. Because okay. I lost... Basically, your mum. Yeah, that that is one of the tough toughest things. Your your mum is is one of the person that's closer to you. But may I ask one thing? How Go do you find it. out this? You have depression, or do you, you? Because you know, you some people may may think they have depression, but they just have maybe they only have like a they that they, they don't feel happy. Mm. How do you how do you figure out that you have depression? I just want to know this first. Okay. Well, the thing is, though, uh, look, about coming up to twenty years ago, I first had my mini depression when I lost my granddad, someone I was very close to. Uh-huh. And then I felt really down and obviously my teachers noticed at the time I was in school that mm-hmm. I wasn't really myself and I started talking to someone like a counsellor in school. Mm-hmm. And obviously for that, they obviously diagnosed me there as de- depressive. I thought, okay, whatever. So, so basically that you were diagnosed with... Uh with depression you didn't it's not like oh i feel that depressed or something like that I'm not, no, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that uh anything but i'm just asking uh so on that day the teachers just diagnosed you or, or was it the doctor or the counselor or the, or the counselor school counselor okay yeah so um yeah. what what does your parents think about this when they say oh my my son ha- has a uh, depression or were they <laughs> were they very supportive of you well, the thing is, though, I didn't really want to tell my parents that. And, but for and the some reason, reason behind... I felt yeah. ashamed. You were ashamed. Don't ask me why. Okay. So, um, do you think yeah. if you can, if you can go back, time can go back now. Do you think you tell them, or do you think you keep quiet about? It? I would have told them. If I if I could go back in time, I would have told them. You you think you think if you tell them, it it, it will helps. It would help me. It helped them understand why I, the way I was, because obviously I was out of character. Yeah, okay. Tell us about it. Well, basically, like for me, I would, I used to like study hard, mm-hmm. ditchly, and then I stopped studying. You stopped studying. My mind was like, you know, not there. I was there, but my brain was somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. So, um, have you have you been to uh, have you been to doctors since then? Have you like you got... I had, I went to the doctors just the about nine months after my mum died. Okay. And, and I told them I felt really shitty. Sorry, it's all swear words. It's all right. It's all right. It's all that's right. exactly we how we can beat That's them the out. best way to say it. We can beat them. People out. understand the way it is. I felt really down. Okay. And then I started having, and I told the doctor I had suicidal thoughts. Can you help me? Mm-hmm. So he ends up saying, "You sound like you're depressed." Gave me number to call. 
right. um, obviously I'm now on pills, mm-hmm. which is, I can't even say this actually, to be honest, C-I-T-A-L-O, <laughs> a pram, okay. two pram, 10 milligrams, basically this is the lowest of um, doses you can have. And does it help you? Uh, does it help you at all? It helps. It helps me because obviously, it's not going to work straight away. It's not a magic pill that you can take and boom. Mm-hmm. It works. It, it works. takes time for the body to get adjusted to the uh, the chemicals inside the pill to make you feel relaxed. If that makes any sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, obviously, if there are viewers uh, who is who are, who is watching this video. And if if they they are depressed or if they have the, the the worst thing I think is when you have friends because um I think ten years ago from today nine nine years ago I think um a friend a good friend of mine uh his fr- her friend just basically everything is all right and then all of a sudden she just hangs herself and basically because she also she also has a depression if you have fr- if you if you are suspect you you have friends who has um if they I mean if anyone have have friends who, have, who who are suffering from depression? Do you think? Uh, uh, what should we do to those people? Do you, do you do should we talk to them or should we leave them alone? We should always talk to them. Or even in a crisis like we had today, COVID nineteen. I mean, mm-hmm. as you know, that I work pretty much four days a week, yeah, all twelve hours, and it is it's emotionally and physically mental. Demanding. Everything just goes belark. Belark is not exactly the word, but it's man manic. And my advice would be talk to people. Get something off your chest. So you think if, if, if you're not happy, if you're suffering from depression, just find someone to talk to? Yeah. But or, is there a chance that they won't talk to you? They, they, they don't want to talk to you? Like, well, say, in, depression. In my, ex- yeah. in my experience, obviously, as we go back to when I was 13, mm-hmm. obviously I felt ashamed. But then again, People start to feel burdened, the people that you're throwing all their problems onto one person. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, though, people need to take time and actually help other people through this, this bad time. Yeah. But depression is not a funny matter. It is a natural, now it's a natural sort of thing. I mean, I've got friends who are in the same boat as me, but we always talk. Yeah. You know, we help each other. I mean, for me, personally, I just do jokes. jokes. I joke about things. You joke about things. It's my way of dealing with... Depression. Yeah. Everyone has their own different way. Okay. Um, so you, you recommend people just to open up to talk to their friends yeah. if, they are de- if they're suffering from depression. And uh-huh. How about people that are not sure if they are dep- they're suffering from depression? Do you think they should just... I don't know. You know, some people say, "Oh, I'm just, I'm just not happy." Do you, some people may. Is it possible that someone may not even know that they're suffering from depression? It is possible. If I'm going to be honest, because like you may feel some of the symptoms. Yeah. What are the you symptoms? Don't know. Well, it's like for me. Mm-hmm. Obviously, as I said, everyone's different. Okay. Uh, me, I eat less. Yes. I sleep less. Yes. I'm stressed all the time. I am just sometimes I could be really antsy at times like even a happy thing can make you really annoyed yeah just it's, it's, it's like a it's like a personality split okay if that makes any sense to anyone so it, it makes it sense makes, to me yeah so and and what what were you what, is there any recommendation you would you would you can give out today well I'd say open up to people that you trust I mean if you feel like you don't trust anyone then I'm sure there's websites out there that you can um, talk to anonymously so your name won't get shared. I'm sure there is. There's phone numbers depending on where you are. Yes. Because obviously in the States it's completely different. UK Over different. to the UK, I don't know about anywhere else, but I know there are, there are charities out there waiting for you to listen. They want to listen to your problems. And they can recommend something, or say, for example, uh, do a hobby, say um, playing games, like drawing, what doing now, or playing games, or writing lyrics. That's what I used to do. 
You write lyrics. Oh yeah, I, I know. I, uh, you you wrote songs like yeah. few few months ago. I found back. my old lyric. I found my two old lyric books. Yeah. From the last twenty years. Okay. Yeah. So um, do you think uh, so people are suffering from depression? Do you think they should possibly uh, because I know that some people that suffer from depression. They they resort to playing video games. Do you think they should stay on the, stay off the online part because you know, like what we are playing now, uh, GTA Online can be a bit toxic. Yeah. Do you think they yeah, should I, stay off? With toxic things, no matter what game, no matter if it's GTA, yes. Call of Duty, Battlefield, uh, Rainbow Six, PUBG, H one Z one. Well, else is there multiplayer these days? FIFA. Yeah, FIFA is... Uh, fi- I'm, I'm not yeah. sure about FIFA, FIFA but I know GTA... way too toxic. I know GTA community can be a bit toxic. GTA, PUBG, Fortnite... Oh, trust uh... me, FIFA is very toxic. Okay. Yeah, I because we got constant... Oh, also, basically, it, you, you are a YouTuber too, right? And obviously, mm-hmm. you got comments on people saying mean things to you, do they? Yeah. How do you handle that? Well, if I'm going to be honest with you, I'll rather block... Always block ne- uh, negativity. <laughs> I know it Negative. sounds like a pathetic thing, but you know, if you go back to your one year old video you just get really annoyed. Yeah, because what happens is people 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 think that they can leave comments on the internet and they don't have a co- a consequence. And obviously the same exactly. goes with GTA online as well. I mean obviously you have it's a big YouTube. If you have, you, there was a meme that I think is if you people know who Leaf is here, right? They, 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 their friends will actually go to go to the person's go to the guy's comment and say last comment like kill yourself during bre- breach or something like that that was like 2016 yeah that was like that was a good couple of years ago I, yeah you know the situation i hated you? that yeah you I hated, hated that, that. You, when, pe- when, when people go to a youtuber just to, uh, could say oh kill, go kill yourself do you think that could actually damage a person if he if he's actually uh, suicidal do you think that they would actually do it or do you think oh just well, a comment well the thing is though we take Nowadays, we take everything with a grain of salt. Yeah. So to speak. But there is, like, things like people do think they're keyboard warriors, obviously, typing this, thinking, ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. And then, the person, if the person does do it, then they are going to feel guilty for the rest of their life because they don't think about the consequences. Now, I'm not too sure if anyone has done, like put a mean comment and someone actually killed themselves mm-hmm. I'm not too sure I haven't researched into that but I think if you push someone to the edge they will like, the fight, like I said the nail in the coffin yeah, it's, an, it's, it's, it's a nail in the coffin do it. isn't it it's, a, it's, it's like a nail in the coffin isn't it yeah it will damage the confidence they'll stop uploading or stop doing videos or stop doing live streams or twitch or whatever they do or mixer yeah and obviously, in total, they'll just probably end up just feeling alone. Don't want to go out. Don't want to shave. Or whatever. whatever they whatever they do on a normal day basis. Don't go to work. Just constantly feel alone, dark. And that's yeah. why. That's why people. I don't know if you remember, but there was a moment people would say that YouTube comment is toxic. Is is kind of like is cancer. It used to be. Yeah. I, I I my channel right. I started off as a as as a place to leave comment on YouTube. I've I've been on YouTube for since two thousand six, so I've I've seen a lot of changes. In the old days, people say, "Wow, you're amazing, you're great," and this and suddenly all of this troll coming in. Obviously, they're not mean. They mean they, it's not. They don't mean to bully you. Obviously, obviously they, they were just get, trying to get a reaction. Yeah. Uh, is there anything you want to say to those trolls to say, "Oh, I'm just here to get a reaction." He just overreacted well, or something. For, for me personally, I mean. If you're trying to get a reaction out of someone, don't bother doing it. Mm-hmm. One, to me, you're a piece of garbage. Mm-hmm. You just get off on doing things like that, and I just think that you're just basically a mean person. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, I've got other words I would like to use, but I'm going to keep it clean. Yeah. For now. Yeah. And basically say, well, don't do it. Sit for that, because one day you're going to go through that same thing or something similar one day in your life and then you have to look back onto the same that day that you gave that comment you could do it in the street you could talk to someone and someone will do it to you in the street but what comes around goes around that's karma you mean what goes around comes around <laughs> yeah I know does. what I mean 
<laughs> so um, yeah, because a lot of people, you know, that's that's the problem with the internet. A lot of people are saying things or doing th- saying things, but not doing the same things that they would never say in real life, do they? Yeah. So, um, the, the people that who are suffering depression, right? Do you think they should just get a bit, for for example, stay off YouTube, or do you think they should just get off the online, or do you think they have every right to to play as normal? It's not their fault. It's the trolls' fault. See, the way I look at it, depression can happen at any time to anyone. Yeah. It can happen earlier, like it has for me. Yes. But this is not obviously the first time. This is the third time I've gone through depression. Mm-hmm. And this is the highest one I've been up at the moment. Okay. Yeah. So I would say to those who are fighting depression, you're stronger than you think. Just remember that. If you ever do want to talk to anyone, or even me... My DM's always open. Your DM is always open. That's nice. Because even though I might be at work, mm-hmm. ready mind I do work for, for 48 hours a week, and by the time I get home, I just come on, Ryan, do what I've got to do, and go to bed. But if you do, like, even if you leave a comment, or even a DM, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I can't promise or guarantee you it'll be straight away. But if I've got two days off, I'd be more than happy to go through all my DMs, all my comments, and go talk to them. Or even okay. on Twitter. Sounds it don't good. bother me. Yeah, sounds good. So um, so you, you suggest they just act as normal and just don't don't be defeated. That, 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 yeah, that's don't be it. defeated. Because the thing is, though, you can, even though it sounds funny to some people, you can actually beat depression. It can happen. You can deep. Are you saying you can deep a uh, uh, bit depression? Okay? Yes, so you it can, can. It can go away like nothing. It can go away, but obviously, what happened to me happened to me three times mm-hmm. over twenty years. So okay. yeah, you you reckon it's going to happen again, or do you think? I reckon it's going to happen again at yeah. some point in my future. And and is there anything you you think uh, you can do, or anything that uh, for ex- for instance the counselor or the government, the doctor can do about it, or the NHS? Well, I I say I don't want to bother the NHS at this moment of time. Oh, okay, not now. Obviously, not now. They've got they've got bigger fish to fry. Yeah, they got the they got they got at the, the virus moment. Now. So I'll stay clear of them just because I want to help them with their resources they've got. All right. So what would, what would you do then? What would you do then if you think it's going to happen again? I know I mean, it's going to happen again. Yeah, you, you can't rely on your pills forever, can you? Mm-hmm. You can't rely on anything. So these what, days. what can you do then? What what are you going to do to, to beat this depression? I'm just going to try and remain positive. Remain positive. About my outlook in life. Okay. Anything exactly. else? Any, is there anything else you want to add before we end, the, end of this? Well, obviously, if you're in a relationship... This is another tip. If you're in a relationship with, let's say you've got a girlfriend or boyfriend, even if you're, if you're gay, bisexual, whatever, yeah. listen to them, talk to them. Don't make the same mistake I did. I'm now opening up to my other half and she's supporting me. Mm-hmm. She is my rock during this bad time. Okay. So listen to your boyfriend, girlfriend, even talk to your parents. If they don't understand it, then fair enough. I understand that some parents are older generation, like mine, mm-hmm. or my dad. Yes. But still, I have brothers and sisters. Yes, you have brothers and sisters. Are they so I only talk to, to my sister about it more than my brother, obviously, because we got me and my sister got a bigger connection. So okay. Sydney. And then and they listen to you, right? And they help me. They help me. Which I'm grateful for. That's good. That's good. So, even if you're a lonely child, speak to me if you have to. I am more than willing to listen. I, I, I want to listen to, but there's only there's this one issue that I, um, for instance, like I have, I'm I, I think I'm the lucky ones because I have I have never suffered in depression. I don't have depression. I'm, I'm, I'm I can safely say. It's. So um, how how am I supposed to listen to someone who has depression? I can't I can't just go say oh I understand because obviously I don't understand how it's like to have depression if you know what I mean how how, well, how can I help you if instance if you if you need someone to to talk to right and I I haven't yeah. I've, I haven't I my life is pretty good so um yeah 
how 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 can I, how how do I, how do I, how should I how should I be listening to you if I if if, if you don't want well, to what what you should do is read everything they say. Read everything they say. Yes. Yeah. Try and it's really hard because I can't I don't have an example, but let's say I message you as an yeah. example. Yeah. I'm feeling low. Mm-hmm. Can I talk to you about it? And then you'll probably reply, yes, go ahead. And then I'll list a, like a list of things. Mm-hmm. And then you can just tell her how to say, I don't know. How was your, how was your day? You know, get them to talk to you. Just basically like, get them to talk to you. Yeah, and then slowly build that relationship up to open up. How was today? Like, say you go on the next day, how was today? Was it any better than yesterday? Or how was work? Was it all right yesterday compared to tonight? What if they don't want to speak about it? If they that's just... a tough one. That is. They, they, because it's, like, talk... it's like it happened to you before, right? So for, for instance, your parents see you clearly depressed, and then you they they say, "Oh, you want to talk about this?" I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, it's it happens. One of the right? things I regret. So one of the biggest things I do regret. Yeah, so it's it's tough, isn't it? If you if you it's see your friends tough. clearly depressed. But they don't want to talk about it. There's nothing you can do, right? Or is it anything you can do about it? Well, or the is... thing is, though, there is other ways of dealing with it. You can have a journal. Mm-hmm. Or like me, I pulled mine into lyrics, which makes no sense now looking back at it. But it helps me, in a sense, to get my aggression out. Cool. The healthy way. All right. Because there are healthy ways of doing it, and there's. <laughs> The other ways, which I'm not going to say because obviously I don't want people going down that path. Okay. I don't mean to make, uh, bring you back for what hurts you most, but I'm just saying that you. I'm sure that what you say will have a lot of people. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. Yeah. Because I'm, what... I'm on a group on Facebook that is basically about mental health. And I read for them. I don't, I don't speak, but I read. Okay. And it's just, I look at it and I think, that's really sad. You're very brave. And recently I started posting on it and how I felt. Obviously with the COVID-19 stuff going on. Yeah. And people are saying, you're doing a good job. I mean, I'm just a care assistant. I look after people with dementia. Yeah, but you you are doing a good job because not not a lot of people love to do a care assistant or have the, or have the guts to do it. Yeah, because it's a dirty job, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's not just about wiping bums. Yeah, but that's it's what about, people that's what that's a what lot of think. expression that people are getting care assistant wiping people's bum. Nope, not just that because it's also about making they making their day day to day life happier. Yeah, then that's why that's why your makes it makes your job so important, and that's why exactly. you know, that's why you're one of the you, your your jobs. You don't estimate underestimate how important your job is because you're doing amazing job helping exactly. uh, elderly people. Elderly people, is it correct? That is correct. It's got um, mental health issues, uh, dementia. Yeah. If it's, you it's... if you want, I'll send you over a link of what dementia is okay. as I can okay. put it in the description. Okay. Um, can I ask? Um, do you have any? Do you have any elderly people that you look after that they have depression? No, uh, one. I don't know. One. That's yeah, that's one. Yeah. And do you talk to him a lot, or do you just do they, does he talk to you? Well, what it is that obviously with the medication, mm-hmm. the doctor stopped it. So they've gone back to the normal, um, normal way they were so we don't really talk now okay. but obviously when the medication is back in their system is back running again that person will be um, talking to me again talking about how depressed we used to talk excuse me all the time okay about it and obviously we shared we shared our things and we've always talked we've always laughed okay you know because it's just the way we are yeah everyone deals with it differently Okay. So uh, I, I'm I'm so glad that you're 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 happy to come and talk about the depression. I hope uh, pe- people that who are listening to this uh, will get some hints and tips from uh, Elite Panda Squad. Uh, his yeah. link will be in the dis- description. Uh, before I let you go, right, just tell us something about your channel. Just plug your channel. 
Well, basically, I play games. Um, I'm thinking about doing a review on something. Mm-hmm. We've recently uh, nice. Yeah, well, well, it's my first one, so I'll be gentle, please. Be very uh, gentle no, about it. Review, basically, you just uh, give I'll an opinion. It. Give, a, give your opinion on something, or a game you're playing, yeah. or I don't know. But well, at the moment, I'm, mm-hmm. I was trying to plan to finish off the uh, Mafia 3. And are you going to do a review video on that? Um, I'm going awesome. to do it when I've finished it. Sounds good to me. Because obviously the DLC is out now and well, it's been out for ages. Yeah, you obviously work. this game was 2016. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I, you don't have to, you don't, you don't, one thing is you don't really have to play a new game to, to, to get views. Exactly. You can play old games. It's like when I play survival on Division. That gets yeah. a ton of views. Yeah. Because people want survival back. Yeah, the survival back. Yeah, I remember that. Yes. All right then, uh, Panda, yep. uh, Independent. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for talking to me today. I hope uh, people right. that will uh, get get inspired at least. And yes, uh, depression is can be defeated. You are stronger than who you are. And exactly. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.